Hey guys, this is Linny C from iOS Jailbreak Zone, and today I'm going to be starting a new series on Top 5 City Tweaks of the Week. Now that means that every week I'll be making one single video featuring Top 5 City Tweaks of the Week, according to my opinion. So let's get started into this week's episode, and on number 5 we have Local AP Store, and this basically lets you get all in-app purchases for free, and it works the same way as IAP Cracker, the only difference being that it works on iOS 6, unlike IAP Cracker. So I'm just going to show you how it works. So all you have to do in uh, uh, to make it work is download the tweak and the name of the tweak and the and the source will be right here for you to add it to your Cydia. And as you can see I've I've got over 10 million coins and I'm going to get some more just to show you guys how it works. So all you have to do is open up any any app that supports in-app purchases, go into the purchase section and and then you need to buy something for example I'm just gonna buy buy the 200,000 as that is the most and as you can see now I've got 11 million if I get some more it actually gives me 400,000 don't know why but that's just how it is so that was local AP store and on number four we have iCleaner now the reason I like iCleaner so much is because it works the same way as CCleaner for your PC only difference being that it's on your it's on your i device and it's got a few more configurable settings which which I made a video on a few a few days ago and you can go ahead and watch that there will be a link somewhere around so as you can see this is really really fast although I selected lots of options and once it's done I'll be able to respring and it'll it'll have cleared some junk from my phone from my iPod, sorry. So as you can see, it only freed up two megabytes because I did use it a moment ago. So as you can see, I just tapped on yes, and it's respringing. And once it's resprung, we'll be able to go on to the third one. Still going. We're waiting. And there you go. It's been fully loaded, and now we can go into our third one, which is camera tweak, of course. Now, camera tweak is awesome whether you're a good photo taker or photographer or whatever whatever that word is. I really can't say it. So as you can see, I've got my camera on right now, and um, there are lots of settings you can you can configure. You can turn on time lapse mode, which means that every f two, three, whatever you chose, every two seconds I chose, and every two seconds it takes a picture. There's there are also a few other ones like um, self timer. For example, if I wanted to take my picture, not my picture, the fence's picture, then I, I can set it to 5 seconds, and within 5 seconds it will be done. 3, 2, 1. There you go. Yep, and as you can see, here's the picture that I took right now. And if I go back, I'll just go back to the home, home screen and go back to it. Sorry guys, I really can't see through the camera that well, so yeah, that's just how it is. And there are a few more settings which I'm going to show you. For example, you can change your aspect ratio and your resolution. You can also change your frame rate to as much as you like. I just like it at 35. And you can also ch turn on advanced mode or turned off. So that that was camera tweak and that was on number three. So on number two we have GPS phone. I made a whole video reviewing this and how to get it. And GPS phone basically is a Game Boy emulator for your iPod. And there are lots in the app store. There's like three, three to f I, I don't know, I don't know how many, but about five, five emulators. And the reason I chose this is that this is the only one that works on iOS six. And I and I made a video so you can go check that out. They will. There will be a link up here somewhere, anywhere. I'm just going to finish this fight and I'll be back to the video as soon as possible. That's all I'm going to do. I'm not going to finish the fight. Yep, and on, num on number one we have none other than Dashboard X. As you can see, the time, music widget, NC settings, everything on my home screen. run, And my iPod is of course running iOS 6.0.1. So you guys can go ahead and get this tweak and as you can see if I go into my notification center or NC then there is no NC settings but what Dashboard X lets you do is add some widgets to your screen straight in your home screen 
like um say the weather widget if you wanted to add that add it there are a few settings you can change but I just like it the way it is and if you wanted the stock widget there you go they can overlap and you can set them to your liking so that's it for this video guys check and check out my other videos please comment rate, and subscribe and stay tuned for the next one